So I'm here with the lovely Maribel. Hi, everybody. So, what are we gonna do today? Okay, we're gonna do her, we're gonna correct her color first. We're gonna get all the brassy out. We're gonna make her super platinum. And we're gonna make her super long with 22 inch keratip extensions. I can't wait. We are highlighting your roof to get rid of the dark and make it super long. Super long. So these are four packs of keratip extensions. And they're all going on your head right now. It is probably the most I've ever put on anybody. And she wants more, by the way. I'm still like, oh, I want more. Yes. We'll use more if we have to. I'm gonna make it beautiful and perfect. There we go. We are coloring your roots for right now before we ash out your whole hair with platinum blonde. Make her hair silver. Oh, I am. Oh, make and it guess silver. who's here? Me. The one and only. The invincible. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't feel any tingling or pain during the bleaching part, right? No, I'm, I'm, I'm like a strong bitch. Um, Look I at how beautiful it is. I, I, I can both have it. One Barbie coming right up right now. <laughs> Stay tuned. I think when she sees it all together, she's gonna love First, keratip extension. These are the most natural wearing extensions. You grab the same amount of hair as the keratip extension and you add a little bit of heat to soften the keratip. A few seconds. I pop it in the middle and I rock it. Hey, don't you put the keratin under the hair though? No. Because if you put it under the hair, you're cupping and hugging the hair. If you put it over the hair, you can blend it all together. And see, I always thought you cup it around the hair. Yeah, you see? Funny. Wow. Tug on it, Aiden. Tug on it. It's so short, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to stop. Oh, wow. Let me feel that. So is wow. it dry? That's, yeah, that's go for it. it. Touch it. That's it. It's done. Is, is it on the root? Or is it like a little it's bit? It's literally really on close the on the root. Look at it. It literally like it blends in like it looks like a root color. Mm -hmm. Like you can't even tell, girl. It's amazing. But you're fucking fast. Oh my god, wow. Go. Oh, <laughs> damn. damn, damn, she's fast. She's already like a two. <laughs> oh my god, wow. You can literally jump in a pool and come out shaking your hair. And no clip-ins, no waves, no plastic, no tape. Just keratin, beautiful, and beautiful hair. I'm so excited. A few rolls in. Very long. Extremely long. And <laughs> I can't feel it. Oh my god. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this hair. We're getting there. So what's your strategy? How do you do that with the top? What I do is I make them, I cut them in a lot smaller pieces and I make sure that I roll on top and the same way that your hair grows, same angle. And by doing that, you look perfectly natural. Hi 
everyone and welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about my journey towards having long permanent hair extensions. I've pretty much worn clip-ups my entire life so this is something totally new to me. I was always going to try it out because my hair is already so fucking damaged that um, I figured any more damage to it and I'll probably end up bald like Cynthia. So my hair was actually very long about a year ago. My hair was about mm, this, this long. All the constant bleaching and cutting, all that stuff really fucked up my hair. My hair is naturally black, as you guys know. It's been really hard to maintain the blonde color while having dark black hair. I've been blonde for, for so long now that like I, my hair gets bleached every single time and it breaks off every single time. So my hair was already really, really damaged and I was wearing hair extensions for so long. I didn't really let it get to me until I realized how short my hair was getting because like I said, I started off with hair boob length. So after I realized my hair was so damaged, I was pretty much open to trying anything to fix my freaking hair. Elena made me a wig, which I actually wore in a few of my last videos. I was wearing that wig for about a month and a half. I just didn't like the idea that it was in my real hair. My boyfriend couldn't grab onto my head and like, you know, yank my hair out. The wig was fun, but I definitely knew it was something I didn't want to do long term. You know, a lot of my friends wear wigs and I was so opposed to wearing a wig. I didn't want to be that girl that wears wigs. I don't know, just, wigs just were not for me, honey. A month and a half of that went by and I met Maribel. So Maribel was so sweet. She told me she had her own salon and she told me she specializes in cures of hair extensions. So like I said, this was during the time that I was wearing a wig. So she couldn't really see my hair because of the wig. So I wasn't about to go to the restroom and show her my fucking hair. So she actually showed me her hair and I thought her hair looked beautiful. And you know, she went like this, she went like that, she put in her ponytail, she was like, girl, you have to try these out. There's so many different types of hair extensions, there's so many different colors, there's so many different textures. There's a lot of things that go into it. I've heard so many people rave about the hair shop and I was so excited to try them out. So Maribel gave me a hair consultation card that I took to the hair shop with me. On the card, it had the hair texture, the hair color, the number of packets that I needed, the number of extensions that I needed. I just gave him the consultation card and I didn't really have to do much because everything was done for me. Upon feeling the hair, I was so freaking excited because I've never felt hair that was so thick from the root to the tip. The hair reminded me of the Bugatti for some reason because it was so thick at top and it was so thick at the bottom. So kudos to the hair shop for having such amazing quality hair. There's five bundles and one packet of hair. Normally people use two packets, which is 10 bundles. So like I said, my hair is really, really thick and I'm really, really crazy. So I got five packets of hair, which I believe is about 25 bundles. So I did message the hair shop and they were so extremely nice. I don't usually rave about companies this much, but they were so freaking sweet to me. They're pretty much the creme de la creme of hair extensions, you know, they're so, like when I tell you guys, like when I tell you guys that it's so freaking thick. So as you guys can tell, I do have some rootage. So I wanted to make this video having them in for a month as opposed to just having them for a day and not really knowing, you know, the outcome of it. So one of the biggest worries that I had was not being able to bleach or color my hair while having them in. So you actually can bleach and color your hair while having hair to hair extensions. So my biggest problem when I had my clip-ins is that my hair would always stick out from here. It would always be super long, luscious, beautiful hair and there'd be like fucking strands of hair sticking out all the time. So that never really happens anymore because my hair is infused with the extensions. So I know this is weird, but another cool thing about these extensions is that you can literally pull your hair. If you do wear clip-ins or if you wear a wig, you can't really pull your hair. So the thing with this is that you can pull all you want and it won't come off. I just thought that was something that was really cool because, you know, when I, the clip-ins always fucking fall off for me. The clip-ins, it always would fall off or, you know, if you wear a wig, your wig would get snatched. Another cool thing that I really love is that it lays flat on your head. When you wear hair extensions, you can't really lay it flat because there's always going to be some sort of weft or some sort of clip on here. So I love to wear my hair back. I can't normally do this with the clip-ins because the clip usually shows. It's definitely one of those things that I didn't really consider that big of a problem before because I didn't know it could be fixed and now I don't have it. So it's really, really cool. The hair can lay completely flat. You'll never see tracks. I never really have to worry about my hair extensions showing and I'm never really self-conscious. Even if they do show, I still wouldn't really care because you still can't clock it. The actual hair extensions are so... They look like... They basically look like this. 
where the clip so even though they never really will show I still am not really worried about it because you can't even tell it's, it's just so cool and I know I'm just so in love with them I'm so so happy so I know a really big question for everyone is if you can still put your hair in a ponytail so like I said you can still do ponytails you can still do braids you can still pretty much do anything so yeah <laughs> so this hair literally changed my life and I'm so, so happy. There is one downside to it because it does take forever to wash my hair. I already had thick hair to begin with, but now I have thick, long hair. So it does take a while to wash and dry my hair, but it's totally worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching my video, and until next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Mwah.